What is going on, my everything? It is your girl, Janiqua A. And I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you. And I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So big shout out to my baby boy, Tata, all right? They just left out. They flew out yesterday to attend the BET Awards. They got nominated for two awards, y'all. All right, they got nominated for two awards, so big shout out to my baby. If you guys watch the BET Awards, definitely look out for him, all right? So, I'm so excited. All right, I just have to say that. Let's tap in to see what y'all need to know, right? Again, big shout out to my baby. I'm so proud, y'all. <laughs> I am so proud. I don't even really watch the BET Awards. I haven't watched the BET Awards in a while. All right, but bitch, I'm watching it this time. <laughs> I'm watching it this time. All right, so let's step in. Let's see what you need to know. Archangel Michael in a leg wall, please protect me. Protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear all my chakras as we tap in to the most important messages. Surrounds of my everything's energy. All right, the hangman, the king of cups. All right, so somebody's watching you. All right, somebody is watching you. Somebody is being enlightened by you. All right, well, you could be this king of cups. All right, but there's a king of cups watching you. This is somebody that loves you. This is somebody that, that likes you. <laughs> All right, this could even be a dad, like somebody watching you grow and elevating. Okay, oh, King of Pentacles. All right, so it's looking like. <laughs> You are no longer waiting around for somebody. All right. Um, you have a king of pentacles here. This could be an earth sign. All right. Heavy on the earth energy. Okay. Um, this could even be a boss. This could be somebody that you worked with. This could be somebody you was um, investing um, with into a project. But um, this king of pentacles is watching you. They kind of stuck. All right. They kind of stuck on you. I feel like a lot of you guys are no longer waiting around for whoever this is. If this was a, like, say if this was a boss, right, that you was waiting back from, like, a call from a job back, it's looking like you, you've been enlightened to the point where you don't even need this person no more, or you probably got hired somewhere else, all right? And now, you know how, you know how when you, you know how when you, up, sorry, y'all, you know how when you apply for a job or something, and at that time, you might not be needed. So, you know, the 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 higher up, um, I'll be like, you know, I'll call you back, right? And they pick somebody new. But say if that person that they pick over you is not reliable, now they want to call you back and, and be like, oh, the job. Um, the job is still available. And you're like, no. <laughs> I done sell a new one or, you know, I'm one to big and bad things. I done, oh, I done started my own business type of energy. All right, and if this is a king of pentacles, somebody that was taking care of you or somebody that provided a lot for you, somebody that was just always there financially, all right, and not emotionally, all right, I see you getting up and leaving. I see you not giving this person um, any more energy that they need to feel like they have some sort of title in your life because of money, all right? They probably had money, but they lack love, all right? They probably had money, but they lack fucking common sense. You hear me? So I really feel like whoever this King of Pentacles is, whether they are an um, employer, okay, I'm hearing this person is going to need employment also because they stuck. All right. <laughs> whether this person was an employer or your, your person or a person, all right, it's looking like they're going to need employment because um, 
they are in a hangman energy. There's something that they need to see and awaken to. And them, or how they're treating people. Or how they are allowing people to treat them. Okay. This is this is a awake this is an awakening for whoever this King of Pentacles is. I'm hearing arrogant. All right, this person could be very arrogant. All right. This person I'm hearing this person could be very mean. For real. This person could could be very mean. I don't know why. Like arrogant. The King of Cups, again, this person loves you, though. All right, maybe they're having an awakening to, to, to you. Because they're probably a, there's probably a period of stagnancy. You could have been sleeping with this person. All right? Yeah, um... You are chasing your future, all right? Whoever you are, you got the world in your hands, all right? Whoever you are, you got the world in your hands, yeah. This person, um, I just saw the three of cups in reverse, exactly. Um, whether this person chose friends, hanging out, a lifestyle um, over you, all right? At one point, now something is in reverse, all right, where you got the world in your hands, you're stabled, all right? You set yourself on a higher foundation. You got a higher perspective, all right? It's looking like you leveled up, all right? And your plans is in motion, all right? You finally are looking towards the future, all right? And excited about the future. Yeah, look, the nine of pentacles, and it came in reverse. This person, this king of pentacles, literally does not want you to be single, all right, and it's looking like if this was not in reverse because he wants you to not be single, it's looking like you done made a name for yourself. It's looking like whatever title or whatever position he had in your life, whether he was an employer or uh, just a regular masculine or a person or a friend, all right, it's looking like you done did, you're better off without him. It's looking like you, you done turned your life around and you became some self, I'm hearing self-made millionaire. All right, so whatever you're doing that got you um, solidified, the Nine of Pentacles is starting something and building it from the ground up. You know, hitting rock bottom, going through the Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, hitting rock bottom and realize that the only way to go left is up. You tapped into a scale. You tapped into a certain path of faith. But whatever it is, it's coming from inner talent. That's the Nine of Pentacles. Being self-made, all right? Building a legacy, all right? Um, committing to healthy habits and building very strong relationships, especially with yourself. Prioritizing self, all right? Being very financially stable independently, all right? Self-reliant, knowing how to work very well by yourself, but also could be very well in a group, all right? But this person, I want you to be like that. For some of you guys, this person is jealous. This person is jealous. All right, that you in a nine of pentacles and that he in a king of pentacles hangman. See, you in a king of pentacles, two of wands. The wands is action. All right, so you put in action into your dreams. All right, and he's watching you. He's watching you excel. He's watching you go beyond your current situation financially, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically. All right? He sees you looking nice. He sees you well put together. He sees you excited about your career and making a lot of money. Offer it. For a lot of you guys, you might make, you might, he might like you when you didn't make more money. Or it's something about you, him, wanting to have that King of Pentacles title over your life. And you not being single and being independent and self-reliant. All right? Um... But you're not, all right? I'm literally getting that he wants you to be like that. He don't want you to be single because he knows single. It's something about 
when you with this person, you lose a lot of money. All right. When you with this person, you somehow get back into an illusion as if he's the perfect person for you. All right. But this is telling you after time and time, you'll realize who this person is. For a lot of you guys, you, you are hip to the game with this person. You have been enlightened, all right, from this person's behavior and actions towards you being self-sufficient, being in your own lane, all right? Uh, they don't like that, all right? And um, you realize, what the fuck? Uh, you guys realize that you lose a lot of money. You 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 lose a, this person. Y'all, I'm getting this person sees um sees where you going in life. All right, that's why it's hard for you to get this person away from you. You gotta realize if this person feels like you are very unstable, or if this person feels jealous. I don't even get unstable. I feel like this person may, may act out of jealousy and do crazy shit to make you fall out with people or to embarrass you or to make people look at you a certain way. All right? This person is very, very triggered and threatened by your authority by yourself. This person, you know, your worst enemy I mean, his worst enemy right now is your mind and your coins right now. There's something about before you needing this person or you looking up to this person. All right. But now you seeing something. It's crazy. You chasing your dreams. I'm hearing like, <laughs> I'm hearing like this is the, this is a case of fucking Maury. All right. And I'm getting like you chasing your dreams like the fucking cameraman or fucking Maury. All right. You know that cameraman always. All right. It's like this person is always in your business too. It's like this person didn't really value you as the nine of pentacles before. But now that you are in a nine of pentacles to a one, they want to keep you. They want to make you out to be this like you're not independent. Like you, you are a leech or something. This is jealousy because this man is stuck. This man is stuck on you. All right. And the more you grow financially is the more you experience new things is the more you see what you can attract is the more you're around you beneficial people is the more you get inspired and motivated. He don't like that. For a lot of you guys, you out here looking good. Nine of Pentacles. All right, for a lot of you guys, you out here dressing nice, no matter if your shit $200 or $1. All right, it's not what you, it's not what you wear, it's how you wear it. You looking good. It's looking like you got to you, you you looking like you looking like you're very stable and solidified in life. It's also looking like you committed to a certain path of faith. Faith Yeah, this person don't like that. Oh, look. And they fucking feelings. Y'all, this person is really it envious. I'm getting whoever this man is. It's sad that you will see a man jealous of a person like this. Of, of another woman. All right. In her nine of pentacles energy. Trying to make up out to seem like she nine of pentacles in reverse. Because that ass got hidden feelings for you. All right. He's really. He might be acting out in arrogance. All right. But deep down inside, he love you. All right. And the fact that you probably moved on. Nine of pentacles. The fact that you probably are happy with your decision in life by moving on. All right. You found success. All right, and you found security, and you secured it. He don't like that. He don't like that you found security and secured it. All right, nine of pentacles. All right, you not no fucking nine of pentacles in reverse. You got the world in your hands right now. You hear me? He is sick. So because he hasn't healed in certain areas in his in his emotions, all right, he would rather sit there and be stuck. All right, in love with you. All right, and not knowing how to express it, giving getting himself so angry that he acts out as if he hates you. All right, things are not what they seem with this King of Pentacles. 
heavy on the earth sign. All right, literally. Yeah, I see you walked away from this person. For a lot of you guys, you don't give a shit about this person. It's like you emotionally checked out. All right, nine of pentacles, you, you, you in your bag. A lot of you guys, y'all finding success. All right, again, y'all securing the bag. Y'all not, y'all not fumbling it no more. All right, this could be somebody you knew from the past. All right, but it, there's something about you not validating him no more. Or there's something about you emotionally checking out. It got this person in their feelings. And it got them, I'm, 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 I'm seeing real, real, I was about to say hateful. All right, this person is giving vindictive. You know what I'm saying? Once you don't need nobody, money no more, because that's usually how people get you. You know, everybody need money. But once you and once you solidified and secured your own bag, he and the King of Pentacles were what? Stuck in his feelings. All right, you can still be corny with money. And this person is going to need uh, hiring. All right? For a lot of you guys, this person but might be in their feelings because they need money from you and they know that you got it, but they know that you're not giving it to them because of how they treated you, all right? Like something has turned. It's like the wheel of fortune. The shoe is on the other, per the shoe is on, on the other feet now, all right? And I feel like whatever that this person has done, all right, in a dark, all right, they hid a lot of things from you, all right? They were not open with you. It's like, so how dare you? get mad at my everything for moving on this person is a savage i'm hearing like this person is a manipulator like because they they can't express for some reason that they're really in love with you and that they don't want you to be single all right they still can't celebrate you it's like they still don't want to see you win it's like this person is very dangerous because even though somebody loves you all right this person is giving like oh the only time I'm going to celebrate you is if you with me. But if you're not with me, I'm going I'm to tarnish your character. That's what this person, you know, the nine of pentacles in reverse. Like that's some with this energy, that's somebody trying to like tarnish your character. Getting in a nine of pentacles, it take grinding. It take persistence. It take do-overs. It take feeling. You know, you go from the ace. You know, you got to go from the ace, two, three, four, five. You So to be in a nine of pentacles, that's. That's success. That's independence. That's getting up, getting it out the mud. That's self-made. So because you choosing to move forward and turning your back on this person and really happy about what's to come in your future, you you stabilize. All right, you secured the bag somewhere. This person is trying to tarnish your character. All right. This is a comic masculine, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a comic masculine. Whoever this earth sign is, all right, they are, they are comic. Look, yeah, you put it into working with them. Like, whether whatever y'all was building on, all right, you literally, and throughout this, like, shutting this person down, because nothing is, it's like nothing was completed. Like this person couldn't complete shit, but always wanted to be into some king of pentacles. Tell you. All right. The death cough, this was a personal transformation for you. Because for a lot of you guys, this person had a hold on you. You felt like you couldn't work or something like, um, I don't know. But this is a comic masculine and his fucking feelings stuck because... You are abundant. You found yourself. You felt your identity. You felt your lane. All right. And this masculine is really in love with you. But that's why you got to question that. You know what I'm saying? Because you are lovable. Who wouldn't love you? You know what I'm saying? Just because somebody loves you, that don't mean they're good for you. Because this is a hater. This is a comic masculine that serves no title in your life no more because you in a nine of pentacles. One more pentacles, that's a ten of fucking pentacles. <laughs> you hear me? And your plans are still moving forward. 
He's trying to tarnish your character and secret. This person might even be talking about you. They might talk about how you get money. They might, oh my gosh, this person is um, a comic masculine in his feelings. It's giving us going masculine. I love the king of cups in his feelings. Look, because he wants to bring you an offer. He wants to start new. Look, but you still saying no. For some of you guys, this could have been past life love. All right, yeah, the tower, you blowing up right now. You blowing up in this person's face. It's like endless. It's like the more he keep trying to paint you out as the nine of pentacles in reverse, is the more you keep stutting on him, blowing up in his face. The fool card, nine of pentacles upright, the tower. All right, this is tower moments going on in this person's life. And instead of giving you that option to choose, all right, he's trying to make you feel like a choice. All right, not that you give a fuck, because the more he, what I'm seeing is, he's in a nine of pentacles in reverse, king of pentacles also. All right, you are in a nine of pentacles upright. That's karma for being in the moon energy. All right, in your feelings, not knowing how to express your feelings, needing fucking help instead of being an evil bitch. <laughs> Okay, this is a comic ass masculine that is that is scorn. This is somebody that you'll break up with, right? Or we'll stop talking to. Okay, and you doing good, you happy, and they'll call you and start cursing you. <laughs> or they'll call you and be like, you fucking so ass bitch. And you'll be like, what? This person will call you and try to ruin your day because he in his feelings. That you having the bomb day. That you having a time of your life right now. That you high off of life. All right, that shit. That you surrounded by, you know, positive people. All right, this is a squat masculine in his fucking feelings and acting like a bitch, not knowing how to process them. You know, he's trying to act too masculine. <laughs> he's trying to act too masculine, and literally, he's a feminine. It's a feminine energy. All right, the the pinnacle and the cups, that's feminine earth energy, earth energy and water energy. That's that's feminine energy. All right, this person is imbalanced. <laughs> All right, be wary, be be careful of this person. All right, because this is a time of success for you. You're blowing up right now with that tower moment. Look, child, y'all done moved away. Child, y'all done moved from this man, whether y'all moved out the house, whether y'all y'all told his ass to get out, whether you really switched locations. All right, like relocated. This is a relocation where you doing good. All right. And a lot of things that he said stuck with you. A lot of things that he did verbally, all right, you would never forget. And it kind of, that's why I said it was liberating. Like, the more he tried to push you down, God kept raising you back up. And all he was doing was making it easier for you to stand on business. Yeah, this person is out of here. This is a this is a past person. Or this could be a recent breakup, but I don't even, this person, um... This person was trying to make it mentally hard for you. They they said things to try to hold you back or make you made you feel incapable. Like this person was a knock. This is a karmic narcissist and they feelings fearful that they have lost all control over you mentally and physically and financially. And they're going bananas. They are in their feelings right now this week. I mean this weekend. All right. And the rest of this week. All right, this might not be for everybody. This reading might not be. This is a comic ass squat masculine that really, really verbally abuse you. All right, this is verbal abuse that you finally, it's like once a person verbally abuse you and you, you realize who you are, all right, their words cannot hurt no more. Their words can't hurt you no more. All right, this person needs healing. He was a mean motherfucker. You hear me? The Six of Swords is finally being at a point where that them, them motherfuckers' words don't hurt. For real. For a lot of you guys, you literally had to relocate to get away from this motherfucker. This was a crazy motherfucker. All right, and I feel like to people, 
This is what he would show. All right? To people, and that's why I say, y'all, I was physically, mentally, spiritually, all that abuse from the age of 19 to 30. More, I was mentally abused. All right? Physical abuse, I would rather that because I heal from that. I could, you know, after a certain amount of blows, you could take that. But mental and like verbal abuse, oh my gosh. Like, that's why I say if I really got away, huh, I feel like a lot of people, because I was, I was, y'all, I was at one point, um, like 70 something pounds, y'all. Skinny. All right, skinny. All right, because of this. Because of verbal abuse, like I thought I was, my, 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 my self-esteem was fucking shot, bitch. I wasn't taking care of my body, you know, I didn't look healthy, you know what I'm saying? And verbal abuse, baby, meant, oh my God, emotional abuse, verbal abuse literally will kill you faster, bitch. Literally. All right, I feel like this man verbally abused you to make you feel like he was the only one that was smart and loved you. You know, the king of pentacles is not only money. They are your provider and your protector. I feel like this man, I feel like you had a lot of daddy issues too. All right. I feel like you couldn't rely on men and this person may have came into your life and really loved you. All right. But that's how narcs do. When you get into abusive relationships, sometimes they don't need like, it's so crazy. That's a whole nother reading. But I'm getting you in an emotional abusive relationship with literally you had to build yourself back up this person tried to break you emotionally all right where you probably even when you was in a nine of pentacles you probably still didn't even feel like that imagine you really being in a nine of pentacles but you feel like this that's all an illusion that is the only way these narcissists and these karmic masculines all right that's in their emotions will only get you to stay back all right, this is a motherfucker that will cry in your face when he know that you're going. When he know that you're going, he will do anything. He will fucking take a fucking rabbit out the fucking hat to keep you. You hear me? This person was a swindler. Not this motherfucking time. He was like, all right, I'm going to head out. I got a new opportunity. All right, and I'm pretty sure he tried to stop you. See, but for a lot of you guys, you got help. All right, for a lot of you guys, you done met a lot of uh, uh, loyal motherfucking masculines. And let me tell you, that's what, that's what be happening. And a man will only do that bullshit until a real motherfucker come in your life. All right, a lot of you guys got brothers, sons, uncles that is not playing about you. All right, and he cannot do what he used to do before because now you got, you got protection. All right, you got protection. These motherfucking narcissists ain't really about that life. All right, this person was trying to physically, mentally abuse you verbally. All right, emotionally abuse you, and he didn't do. He couldn't do it this time. All right, now he's in his feelings because you got you got support. All right, you got people that is willing to protect and 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 defend you against him. Is what I'm seeing, y'all. All right, you not worry. You this you right here. Who the fuck is this motherfucker? That's your protection. That's one of your fucking family members. That's your uncle. That's your fucking friend. All right? But it's giving another masculine energy behind you. All right? Protecting you. You and your motherfucking children. You and your unborn motherfucking children. You and your nieces and motherfucking nephews. All right? Those words couldn't stop you no more. All right? He done said something. I'm getting maybe two days ago. Two of ones. He done said something where that shit only made you feel more empowered. Like, oh shit, I'm not even affected. This bitch is mad. You hear me? I'm hearing you saying that this bitch is mad. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Yeah, the world card. It's a wrap. All right, it's a fucking Reynolds. All right. It's a fucking wrap. The world called a lot of you guys. Spirit see what this motherfucker was doing. You, you will fall. This is a lot of movement. This is a lot of relocation and traveling cars. The Six of Swords is a big relocation car and trans, um, transportation card. All right? The World Car is a big-ass relocation card. The Two of Wands is big-ass big, big ass, um, 
you know, um, relocation cards, traveling. All right, for a lot of you guys, we had to move away from this motherfucker. For real. This person was very sneaky. All right, literally. Yeah, but look, this is a power move. Like, yo, your, your work, all right, is, is expanding, all right? Your lane, your, your talents, your craft, whatever you've been working on, this move is that's that ten of pentacles. All right, you're gonna meet so much of new people. I feel like you're gonna have an online job. All right, that is literally gonna allow you to be so independently free with your life. All right, I see a lot of online communication and um, relationships being built. All right, yeah, you don't got nothing to worry about. All right, you done healed. There's a certain area in your life that you healed. And that's your finances. And that is the only part that had this person connected to you because you probably needed him. But I see this big on your finances and your stability. You found some sort of stability and motion and you secured it. And that allowed you to literally not need this king of pentacles no more because he was abusing you. He was abusing you physically, mentally, and financially. All right? I'm talking about the words that he said to you. I probably can't even imagine I just feel your pain. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like y'all gonna be celebrating a huge, huge win and some sort of relocation for some of you guys is gonna be a family. Like you just moving your family away. And you, for others you guys, it's gonna be for a job. And or uh, others of you guys, it's gonna be all, all of that and, and more. All right, your life is stalking, really. It's like you welcoming, your spirit guys welcoming you in a material world because you learned life. All right, there are certain things that you went through, all right, that is allowing you, all right, beyond your current situation and your career and your success, all right, and that's the six of swords, all right, making sure that nobody's words can have that much effect to stop you. I'm guaranteeing this, this is, this was, this been was supposed to happen. Y'all can't sucking with this king of fucking pentacles, whoever this fuck's this earth side is, you hear me? Talk about he love you, he did love you. All right, but who don't love you? You in a fucking world called Nine of Pentacles. Who don't love you? All right, building a motherfucking legacy, working hard, minding your business. All right, get into that bag, making sure you secure your future. And here go this lousy motherfucker. I'm getting pissed for y'all. All right, I'm getting pissed for y'all. This, I'm hearing this lousy motherfucker coming in and trying to say the worst things to you. To kill your vibe. Because they are emotionally fucked up about you. Alright, let me tell you. Instead of this person just coming out and saying, yo, this move is fucking me up. I'ma miss you. You know, y'all could come to some sort of solution on how y'all could feel in that void. But this motherfucker acting out in pure anger and ignorance towards you is not helping. Alright, it's making you move and farther, farther away. And it's making you cut all ties with this person i don't see you communicating with this person no more all right because every time you do all right the universe hits you in your finances i mean the slightest fucking phone call that you agree to have with this person all right the universe the world all right hits you we're hurt and that's your finances all right a lot of you guys that's gonna connect to this reading is gonna realize every time you forgive this person or not even forget because you forgive and then you move on. Forgiving does not mean doubling back on your motherfucking decision. All right. But every time you be vulnerable and allow this person to swindle you and gaslight you. When you know the motherfucker ain't right. All right. The universe instantly fucks your money up. All right. So that way you can get the picture. So that's how you're going to notice your reading. If you keep fucking with this motherfucker, it's like devil energy. He's toxic. To your future and what you're building, baby. That motherfucker is toxic to your earthly possessions. You know how when you allow some somebody in, it just fucks up your flow and your frequency of that financial blessings? Yeah, so that's, that's why. Every time you went through a financial setback, it was because you started to fuck with this person. Or, or just even allowed him in your energy. Yeah, fucking. All right, close your motherfucking legs, y'all. All right, this motherfucker, all he wanted was to fuck you good. He liked you, he liked your sex. That's what made him fall in love. 
And that's why you got to get out your root chakra because who not going to love us because of our, you know, our intimacy, bitch. I mean, you got to realize that these men, they all going to fall in love with you. You divine feminine. All right, shit, man, motherfucking wet. You hear me? Wet before you even put the fucking finger down here. You hear me? Sucking dick like you was fucking born to do it. <laughs> you hear me? But only certain people get that. All right? This person shouldn't be granted that. All right? Then you shouldn't show that your fucking throat is as long as a fucking railroad. You shouldn't show that to him. Bitch. Only the good niggas get that. You hear me? Look. And then want to start a family. Like this person will love you because of your sex. Like you literally can make this person buy you anything. Like this person, but this is not a good relationship. Look. So for a lot of you guys, this is a move. All right? For, this is information swift. I'm talking about pack your bags. It's looking like you only got about eight days or ten days left. <laughs> All right? Here in that, in that other place where he was at. It's looking like you got eight or ten days max to pack your bags. I'm telling you. All right? So don't say Nico ain't warn you. All right? You literally are about to receive. All right? Today or tomorrow. All right? Definitely before Friday. All right? Maybe on the weekend. That whatever this ten of cup is, this is your happily ever after and what you was working towards because he couldn't give it to you. All right? And the fact, you see, what's going on is a person never knows what they got until it's gone. See, this person, dead ass, wanted to start a family with you. He felt like you was very family oriented. All right. But because he was in his arrogant energy, all right, so fucking tempted and by lust and it, he didn't even value you. So now that you are gone, the hangman to the motherfucking king of cuss, he's realizing how much he loves you. He's realizing, for a lot of you guys, this is an opportunity. Y'all settling in a new environment. You hear me? And y'all really doing it big. Because now, remember, I feel like y'all been was supposed to do that. But Spirit was waiting for you guys to close up that cycle for good because he was fucking up your money and your blessings. So now that you did that, now that things, he finally see that he can't tarnish your character with his mean ass. You hear me? He, he finally see that you are too worthy and you know that so he can't say whatever the fuck he used to say to really fuck you up. Okay? Now he realizing, damn, his conscience is fucking with him. Like, damn, why I treat it like that? Damn. She gonna be with another person. Damn, she gonna get all that good pussy up. That's all he thinking. Damn, she gonna give all that good pussy up. That's all he thinking. Alright? Literally. But he know what you worth. Trust me, that's why it's so hard, you know, you'll get a man that will curse you the fuck out and be so arrogant, all right? But literally, do, do not want you to leave. Like, it, it's so weird. That's a narcissist. You don't want to be with a man like that. All right, now look at him. Look his ass. All right, no work. I told you. Whatever. You is flipped. He going to need a bed. He's going to leave. He, he's going he, to he's gonna need you. He probably already do, but he probably knows once you in a world card, ten of cups, all that, like he know when a woman know her worth when she when she exceeds those energy, when she get up to those energy. All right. He knows that he cannot just come in. He might try. All right. Wow. Spirit, what's the closing out messages? Because this is clear. Y'all got about eight to ten days now. Maybe six. You got six? Huh? This could be like a week. All right, let's say a week and a couple of days to pack your shit or whatever the shit that you're taking because this shit is happening. You're out. You're moving far away from this person. All right, this person had you mentally uh, uh, fucked up. They were abusing you emotionally. They really feel, made you feel like you wasn't who you were. And I was the nine of pentacles, the world card, ten of cups, bitch. All right, they were addicted to your sex. All right, they were addicted to whatever the fuck you was doing to them intimately. All right, they were so addicted that they felt in love with you. Like they felt in love with you and they don't want no one to have you. So instead of healing parts of them 
and being able to express that. All right. They do things that with that they do things that was so fucked up that it really had to take probably assistance for you to mentally know that you are more than what this person was uh, treating you as. All right. This is a big, huge opportunity for you to possibly even move over a body of water. All right. So if this person constantly harassed you, all right, they're not even going to be able to get to you no more. All right. The only motherfucking contact they would have is a motherfucking lifeline. And they, they done sunk that. They done sunk the last fucking boat that they had with you. All right. This person is heavy in their feelings. All right. Or, and they know that. They've, they've lost control, all right? This person had a lot of mental control over you, all right? It's like, whatever that they said, it was like, damn, all right? But that, it don't work no more, all right? And they're going fucking crazy. For some of you guys, this person might even try to follow you or, like, come and pop up. Be careful, all right? But you will be celebrating. Congratulations. Congratulations. This is, this is family. Look. The chariot, you're moving. All right, and this is a power move. This is not just, you did it on his ass. You hear me? I'm proud of y'all. Y'all did it on his ass. All right, look. These are, Mitch, you cut him off. Didn't I say the devil energy? When I tell you this man was so fucking toxic, see, that box right there, that's our dreams. That's Pandora's box. All right. But the devil uses men like him. All right. Men can be Jezebels. All right. It's looking like you had, I'm hearing tantric sex with him. All right. You done cut, you cut, you see the truth. All right. The truth requires change. And if you didn't use your truth and if you didn't speak the truth and you didn't do whatever it is to cut him out your life. All right. You would have just been still stuck not getting this. And when I tell you. Ten of Pentacles, bitch. You got this is life. You set in life. You set in life. It was him. This is y'all. This could have been a comic past life soul tie. This was a soul tie. All right. This was a fucking soul tie. All right. Look, this person was not supposed to be a part of you in this lifetime. Look, this is what you are receiving. And this is a victorious move. All right. This is moving your family out the hood. A better life. All right. Where everybody could be free to laugh, to love, to create. All right. The Ten of Pentacles, bitch, is all your hard work paying off. Is you leaving back a fucking legacy. You leaving back wisdom and talents and gifts. All right. The world call is you are in contract with the universe, bitch. Yo, the world is yours. You are set for a lifetime. Wherever you go, I told you seven. All right, seven and six, seven, eight, nine. It's six, seven, eight, bitch, nine. You done leveled up, bitch. This is Archangel Michael. All right, you balanced in your, fat, your masculine and feminine energy, so you're capable to know what you can do and what you can't do. All right, you're understanding that assistance is required. All right, this is a very victorious move. This is like in life. You went through things with this man and you could have easily been a victim to his abuse. All right. And you chose to escape and, and this is a victory. You chose you, you've escaped the arms of the enemy. Literally. Y'all. This is a victorious move, a power move, y'all. This is perseverance and this is success in that conflict you've been having with him. This is overcoming adversity because what he was doing. Y'all, congratulations, y'all. This is a lifetime. This, You see, he wasn't supposed to be a part of your generational wealth. This is generational wealth. The more you was with him is the more you were, you were pushing yourself further away from this. Look what you got. This is what you're going to be celebrating. And... Set this is like a week and a half because I keep seeing six, seven, eight, nine. All right, give it two weeks the max. You're gonna be like, Oh my gosh, Nikwa, I love you so much. Thank you. All right, he wasn't supposed to be a part of your generation. Well, look what God done had, had set up for you this lifetime, Mitch. Look, Ace of Swords, this is your soul contract. God wouldn't dare have the enemy infiltrate your shit like that. 
Whether you got kids with them or not, that's probably why it's even harder. Bitch, bye. Cut his ass off. You're still happy. All right? Step daddy's, uh, step mommy's out there. You hear me? Fuck. But this is your, your ordained life. All right? This person was not supposed to be a part of it. All right? So that's what I have for you guys. Congratulations. Uh, bitch. Empress energy. You're not supposed to be fucking with him. All right? Empress energy. This was your ordained life. All right, and you big empress energy. Now you're sitting. This probably, this probably your child's father, y'all. All right, this probably your fucking child's father, and you in empress energy. So I know you making more money than him. All right, and it's sad that he can't even understand how to play his role in your life because he will be more beneficial by being nice to you or like respecting your shit. You the empress. All right, you are the fucking plug. All right, you are the connection to all of connections. You hear me? Let's see, God. <laughs> so yeah that's why all right he, your generational wealth now that i see you as the empress i'm not surprised to see this ten of pentacles ten of cups this is what the empress is supposed to be getting in this lifetime all right clear as motherfucking day not having to ask twice all right that's not surprising to me no more you didn't you was supposed to be no devil king of cups you know men always going to fall, fall in love with you even especially when they have sex with the empress but all love and good love, baby. All love and good love. All right? This was a whole lot of uh, possessive. This person was possessive over you. All right? Literally, uh, he has an obsession. He can't let you go. All right? But he's being forced to. So I love you guys and I hope that helps.